okay i'm sorry i left you guys on like a cliffhanger and i found out that the chapters are um, um mixed up so i do have to go back because it went from five to eight so i do have to uh go back and uh do some stuff because the last chapter was actually chapter eight so uh oopsies you guys read the different one but uh let me let me go back <laughs> The weekend is fi was finally over, and you had to go back to school. You rolled out of bed and stared, started getting ready. You entered the shower thinking about last night. For some reason, you were having a weird feeling that someone was watching you last night as you slept. You tried to shake off the feeling, but was unable to, since you were worried that someone might want to come after you. You slept out, oh, stepped out of the shower and put on your uniform as you grabbed your school bag and headed to the kitchen. You decided to make a sandwich since you had enough for time for breakfast. You took two pieces of bread and added ham, some ham and cheese on the piece of bread and decided to add some lettuce and tomato. You grabbed your bag and, along with your sandwich and went out. You decided to put on your headphones as you ate while walking soon enough you had finished your sandwich you entered your class to only be greeted by karishima uh, hey there yin did you sleep well last night he said um not really I, I had a feeling like someone was watching me last night while i was asleep karishima couldn't help but smirk a little well if you like i could come over and sleep with you tonight if you want he asked, oh, um, no thanks, Uraka is staying at my house for a while anyway, so you don't have to worry about me. You, head of, you headed over to Uraka as you wondered why she didn't come back home yesterday. Apparently she had a sleepover with Izuku and gave her the, mm, look, you like him, don't you? You said to your cousin, uh, no, it's not like that. Yin, Uraka said as she blushed. Well, see about that then. All of you went to your seats as Aizawa came into class and it had begun. Karishima's POV. Why does Uraka get to sleep with Yin? It's no fair. I mean, they're cousins and all, but I should be getting to spend time with my pillow, not to mention Uraka is getting in the way of my sweet Yin. I mean, just look at her. Yin is so beautiful and caring, and I can't let anyone take my pebble away from me. All of a sudden, Karishima was interrupted by his friend, Siro. Yo, dude, you okay? Class is already over, plus it's lunchtime. Karishima looked up to see his friend's face when he noticed you and Bakugo were talking. Denki was with Bakugo trying to make sure he doesn't kill anyone. Anyways, thanks for asking me, Siro, but I'm fine. I have to go now, Karishima said. I'm so confused, because in the last chapter, he kidnapped Bakugo. Huh? Okay, okay. You and Bakugo were getting to know each other, when all of a sudden, he apologized. Hey, Yin, sorry about the other day. I didn't mean to push you off the seat. I just thought you were some useless extra sitting on my seat. He said, trying, turning a slight pink, Denki saw and knew that Bakugo had a crush on you. And now that he knew about it, he had always used to tease him about it. You guys then pr pr progressed to the cafeteria and had lunch with Denki and his friends. But you noticed that Karishima wasn't present. You quickly ate your food and went off to look for Karishima. You started walking, hoping to find Karishima. You felt worried that something bad might happen to him. When you walked by your classroom, you noticed a spiky redhead sitting alone in the dark. You saw and Karishima sitting on his chair. He seemed deep in thought, not to mention. He had a weird little twisted look on his face. Karishima's POV. How dare they get close to my yin? She only belongs to me, no one else. I'm going to kill all of them for anyone who tries to get yin. will suffer the consequences, especially Bakugo. How dare he? Hey, Kiri, you okay? He don't look so good. 
I was interrupted by the sweet, angelic voice of Yin. Uh, oh, um, Yin, don't worry about me. I'm doing fine. Uh, she cares about me. How cute. Those bastards will not get near my Yin. If they do, they're dead. Huh. I was then pulled into a hug by a small figure. I looked down to my surprise. It was Yin. She was hugging me. Hey, Kiri. Even though I don't really know, you just know that I will always be there for you, okay? What is she saying? Why does she seem sad? Hey, Yin, what's wrong? Are you sad? I swear to God, if I find out that was one of those breasters' fault or dead. It's nothing. You just seem more different, and I thought you were going through something. I just wanted to check up on you. Aww, my sweet little bubble cares about me. How cute. She gave me a smile, and then proceeded, then proceeded to hand me a sandwich. Here, take this. I figured that you hadn't had your lunch, and I thought you might want to eat something. I took the sandwich, and Yin sat next to me. I felt happy, knowing that those bastards are not near her. You and Karishima then proceeded to talk while he eats his sandwich. You thought it was cute as he ate until he called out until he called out on you. You didn't notice that you were staring at him. You then started blushing. Soon lunch was over and you all continued to your classroom. Time skip. It was still early and you were alone in your room. So you decided to text Yuraka, but to your surprise, she didn't respond. You thought maybe her phone died, so you didn't really care. You then decided to make something to eat since you thought Uraka will come home late since she went to study with her friends. Ahem. Warning. This part, this further part of this story, it gets disturbing, so please be careful. Uraka's POV. I was walking back to my cousin's house when all of a sudden I got dragged into an alleyway by someone. It was a deserted place, so I didn't bother screaming since no one would hear me. By the time I escaped from the human's grip, I tried biting his hand, which was covering my mouth, but to my surprise, it was as hard as a rock. Sleep tight, you little bitch. After hearing this, his voice, I immediately recognized him, and all of a sudden, everything was black. I woke up, realizing I was stuck, tied to a chair. My hands were chained up. Aw, looks like the brat is awake now. What do you want from me, Garishima? I yelled. Hopefully someone would hear my voice. Oh, Uraka. You don't seem to get it, do you? Listen here, bitch. Stay away from Yin. She's mine. You got that? I was shocked to hear those words, as Garishima does not seem the type to do this. What? Wait, Garishima, back off. We can just talk. You don't need to be violent. All of a sudden, splat. As the blood oozed from Uraka's stomach. How delightful. The bitch got what she deserves. I groaned in pain, as I never knew Karishima would be like this. At this point, I could die of blood loss. Oh, don't worry, Uraka. I'm going to end your life either way, so you should thank me. I felt disgusted. The fact that my cousin was hanging out with him. Suddenly, I felt the cold, heavy metal chains that Karishima was holding me earlier around my neck. He was strangling me. <laughs> Karishima, please stop. It was all I managed to stay before everything turned black. Then I realized I was dead. Hiroshima's P.O.V. Why did I sound happy after that? Oh my god. Finally, the bitch is dead now. There will be lesser obstacles in between of me and my yin. Ah, my sweet yin. She's going to be so happy when she sees her cousin's head tomorrow. <laughs> oh, how lovely her reaction would be. 
I can't wait for tomorrow. Okay, guys, by the way, this is chapter five, and that was chapter, uh, the last one was actually chapter six, so I'm sorry for all the confusion, but anyways, uh, bye!